Today I'm going to have a look at this USB load and uh, it's fairly simple. It's just got four resistors on there. Let me open the packet and we'll get a bit closer. So it's a reasonably straightforward item here. We've got the USB input over here and presumably this LED comes on when there's power. Four switches and uh, four LEDs presumably indicating when each switch is on or off. And then four power resistors here, which are all 10 watt resistors. Finally, there's a fan connector here on the top right hand side and another terminal connection here, presumably to put five volts in here if you're not testing something on USB. But one of the things that drew me to this product was the fact that it mentions here 15 kind current. I presume that's 15 types or 15 kinds of current um, and it mentions ohm law here i current equals u i would say v over r voltage over resistance and then it mentions it again and finally a third time in the silk screen as well so they obviously really want you to understand ohm's law and on the bottom here there is also another equation and this is the equation to work out total resistance when you have resistors of different values in parallel because that's what this particular usb load uses when you switch these resistors on they're switched on in parallel and a combination of these switches gives well 15 kind current so i thought it would be interesting to do the maths work out the resistance work out the current before we even plug the item in. Right, so the silk screen on the USB load says that this first resistor here is 2.2 ohms, the second one 4.7, the third 10 ohms and the last one 20 ohms. So uh, which one shall we turn on? Well let's turn on the, I don't know, the last two, the 10 and the 20 ohm resistor which should hopefully make the uh, maths fairly easy. So if we remember that equation the total resistance equals 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So that equals 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20 in this example. And without a calculator, I can work out that that's 0.1 plus 0.05, which gives us 1 over 0.15, and 1 divided by 0.15 gives us uh, 6.6 .6 recurring and that of course will be in ohms. So we've worked out the value of resistance with those two switches turned on but now we need to work out the current that we're going to see on the meter. Well as we're also reminded on the silt screen I equals V divided by R. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. Well 5 volts isn't it it's usb and the resistance is point so sorry 6.6 .6. um so i equals 0.75 amps so let's plug it in and give that a go i have a power bank here which uh, puts out possibly a little bit more than 5 volts but if I can uh, get the USB connector plugged in then we can have a look at the meter switch it on and there we can see yes 5.14 volts in fact and we're seeing 0.74 amps 740 milliamps well I think it's worth doing a second example and in this example I'm turning on the uh, 4.7 the 10 and the 20 ohm 
resistor and I've already done most of the maths here so uh, there it is the 4.7 the 10 the 20 uh, which eventually gives us 2.75 ohms pretty much and if we look at i equals v over r now we're likely to get a higher current so i'm putting five volts in there um, over 2.757 ohms well that gives me a current um, of 1.813 amps okay so uh, let's give that a go by turning on the power bank and in the top left hand corner we can see that we've got 5.01 volts and uh, according to the port power here we're seeing 1.72 amps going through that circuit so uh, why the discrepancy here between 1.7 and 1.8 amps what's the uh, 100 milliamp difference well you'll notice that the uh, total resistance here of 2.75 ohms and in the last example is always lower than each of the individual resistors in the circuit and when we get down to this low level 2.75 ohms well there's various other things i suspect that could be taking effect there's likely to be some inaccuracies here in the actual resistors themselves they're probably what accurate within 10%, possibly 5%. There's going to be small contact resistances here in the switches and possibly here in the USB connections as well. And of course there could be inaccuracies here in my porter power meter as well. But I don't know if you can actually see some uh, small whiffs of smoke coming away from those resistors. I can certainly smell them, so uh, perhaps it's time to turn that circuit off. So this is a fairly simple USB load using pretty cheap components, but then again, it didn't cost very much at all. A link to this item will be in the description below. I enjoyed putting the mathematics to the test, and uh, hopefully you did too. So if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.